After successfully adding the school master, we are entering all the school details and setting the academic here. The next important thing is to mention the uh, necessary details like specifying the classes, subjects and sections etc. All these mandatory things are uh, being added in the menu called as masters. In this menu uh, item, you can see so many uh, menu items like subject, class etc. And uh, since it collects all the basic information at a single shot, it is also called as a foundation block. And the here, all the data which has been entered once is accessed on the other uh, modules and generating the reports. This also helps the user to reproduce the correct information at the later stage. For example, in the class menu, you have, you have mentioned the different classes names in this particular menu item. The same class name will be reflected in other modules and also helps us to generate the reports on the class basis. And uh, let us see how this works out. Uh, let me start with the first menu item called subjects. Click on subjects. You can find the subject marks over here. Here, it is all about assigning the different subjects to the school. So, for example, if the school has five different subjects, I can assign five different subjects over here. First, let me show you how to enter a subject name English in with a sorter order of 20. And just click on Add. So, which shows in a message saying this particular subject is added successfully and this subject is added in part A. And, uh, and one more thing to be noted over here. Uh, the subject name and the sort order has been mentioned with the asterisk mark which means they are mandatory field. If either of these four, uh, fields are, are left blank, it shows an, a validation error, the value is required which is very much necessary for the user to enter these two fields. So user can enter uh, <coughs> subject name and the sort order. Then all of us, I mean, now the suddenly the question would arise like what is sort order? Sort order um, is something like classification of subjects. See, we have given a three, uh, we have divided the subject into three parts as part A, part B, part C. So specifying the general teaching subjects in part A and some subjects like uh, sports, physical activities in uh, <coughs> part B and other subjects like games and uh, physical education should be in the part C. So, based on the marks card uh, report, keeping that in the mind, the subject has been classified into different parts. So, now I can uh, add in one more subject into, uh, into part C, maximum in part C. So, now successfully three different subjects are being added uh, with the three different parts. So, in the marks card, the first appear subject will be English, next will be Hindi and Max. And if I feel that I have to uh, edit in this particular subject, say I have done some spelling mistake over here, then I can just click on edit button and change over here. And if necessary, I can change uh, uh, sort order also has 37. Yes, click on update button. So Hindi subject has been updated. Yeah, if I feel that this subject is no more existing in the school, then I can just click on delete icon and delete it. And uh, it is very necessary uh, thing to be noted over here since any, um, as I said, you master being in a foundation block, deleting any entry should be taken uh, twice at least. So we have given a warning message saying that data deletion should be taken care. So please do take care of it. And uh, click on S, then it throws a message saying deleted subject successfully. And now coming to the fee, uh, fee is something like you are defining the uh, fee names on for what it has been collected. For example, if I specify, uh, I'm collecting thousand rupees of on the basis of admission fee. So I have to enter admission here, and the description I can give it has admission fee collected details over here, and click on add. So admission fee is added over here. Next, if I specify tuition. If I sp uh, specify um, sports fee and the description as sports fee collected and <coughs> two different 
three groups have been added over here and um, if i want to edit or something like that i can come here i can change the description or the admission fee name and click on update button so automatically it get updated in the fee master so i want to delete as usual click on delete uh, icon automatically that subject will be get and deleted and next about the fee group it is to specify the fee collected whether the fee is collected on yearly basis or monthly basis now say if i mention some uh, fee group has yearly which means i'm collecting the fee on annual basis so i have to enable annual fee button i can declare this yeah for this particular fee this particular uh, school is paying the tax then click on enable that two buttons and click on add okay and if i want to collect some uh, some fee say has uh, tuition and just enabling it has on a monthly to show that this fee is collected on monthly basis uh, this tds uh, field can be uh, left blank or it can be selected or deselected has the user wishes and click on add button right so now two different groups are uh, been added one is yearly and next is tuition fees next Uh, before going ahead with the uh, fee amount we have to declare the classes we will uh, declare the uh, number of classes in the class master click on add button to add a new class and uh, specify first uh, first standard with order of 10 and add now let me add one more class for my later reference with the order of, uh, with the weight value of 2 and uh, here one more thing to be observed has uh, this weight value should be given yeah now and the second uh, standard have mentioned the weight value as 2 i feel that it should be greater and since the weight value uh, of first standard is more than second standard so i can click on edit button and change the value has 20 so Uh, click on update button so this particular uh, weight value has been updated successfully now here what happens is like um, the first standard will have the lower weight value and the higher class will have an higher order so this will allow the users uh, uh, to view the classes in a systematic way all the drop down box will be uh, having all these classes on the based on this value assigned it if uh, if the third uh, i can uh, if i feel that i have to delete the second standard then uh, just click on delete icon the class gets deleted next we'll come back to the fee structures of uh, coming back to the amount it's about the declaration of the fee amount to each fee group on the on the class basis so the class uh, now coming to the declaration Uh, when you click on add button a window pops up like this and you have to specify the fee collection say a fee on the admission base uh, admission fee is collected on yearly basis for the first standard has 1200 rupees and click add and next if i want i can select uh, sports fee and mention it as tuition and specify for the second standard or for both first standard and second standard has 100 rupees so this particular fee will be collected on monthly basis and click on add and coming to the section uh, here is specific the number of sections and uh, this will helps in generating the reports on section wise with respect to the classes and now to add a new subject click on add button enter this uh, section as a section and add and here the de by default each class is associated with each section and now uh, coming to the class subject menu it is all about allocating the uh, subjects to the each classes specifying which class has how many subjects and to allocate that on add button select first standard and uh, and a section and allocate two different subjects 
to the classes and click on add this is with respect to the first standard so now in the front view you can see that is in the school subject master you can see first standard e section has two different subjects that is english and hindi and next coming to the cast category uh, the specification of the cast uh, before going ahead with the cast we have to specify the cast category that is the specification uh, of cast information and here we have to classify the cast on what category it is so for example if i mention the cast category has um, uh, general merit and now it's a general merit cast category he has added successfully and here now coming back to the cast specifying the cast or adding a new cast click on add uh, specify the cast name has brahmin and description has brahmin itself and uh, select the cast category as general merit which you have specified in the other menu and now click add now you can see the cast brahmin has been uh, categorized on the general merit and now coming to the marks it's uh, it's about the assigning the grade values to each different marks uh, value now if you click on add button and the grade name you can mention it as a has a plus and the marks allocated uh, weight value with the 90 which means the 90 to 90% uh, of marks to 100% will be categorized as a plus and if I for example if I say B plus and specify the range has 40 and click on add so the range between 40 to 90 will be uh, considered as B plus grade all this uh, grades will be reflected in marks card grade report automatically the user may not calculate it as soon as the user enters the marks this grade assigned with respect to the its percentage value the grades will get automatically set and next maybe in the different kinds of expenses happening in the school uh, before specifying the expenses we will have to specify the expense group so uh, to specify uh, the different types of expenses names happening for different events just click on add button see the expenses has stationery so 10 megawatt percent is current item. Stationery, add. Or I can add one more stationery as uh, sports day. Okay. So now I have added two expenses. Group name over here. Now come to the expenses. Now we have to uh, see the uh, there was an expenses on buying the rule sheets. So, uh, in description, uh, in expensive description, I can say purchasing of two rule sheets uh, that will be classified under stationery and add. So, uh, at end of the day, you can generate a report on on, cat on expensive group basis also. So, these are the menu items, uh, basic details which capture the functionalities of the school. So, 